you guys. I am here to do a quick introduction. My last thrift haul was when I asked you guys if you like my different style of filming and I got a lot of feedback that I was really happy about. I'm going to go ahead and transition over to filming it differently. So I'm going to put it on a tripod and then wear the piece of clothing and then describe to you what I'm going to do with it, how it fits and everything just because because it seemed like a lot of you guys liked how personal it was and how it was in real time and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and do that from now on. The first um, the last thrift haul I did was for Stanwood Camino Island Thrift Store and it looks like here I went on a Monday so it was four dollars a bag and I got three bags. Alright guys so I have here a sweater and it's by Eddie Bauer and it's a really larger sweater but you guys know that I have had this thing for oversized sweater lately so yeah. Not bad. This was supposed to be $4.99, but they included it in the bag sale, so yeah. Not naked, guys. I'm wearing shorts, but this is a purple top, and it's by Eddie Bauer, and it is a almost like a sweater type material, and it's a little bit thicker, so it's really, really warm. And yeah, I can style that with some jeans or something. I like it and then I really like the boat neck here. I don't know if that's a boat neck but I just really like how it's not restricting here. You guys know how I feel about my neckline. I have here a hoodie. It's a red hoodie and yeah it's a little bit on the larger side but you know I like it. Uh, I can never have more than enough hoodies to be honest. So and it's so warm and cozy. Okay, so this is by Banana Republic and it is just a cardigan and the way that this cardigan, it doesn't zip up, it's one of these like little hook things and it goes all the way down the front and this is a small but as you can see it's like a little bit more on the looser end on me. I can never have more than enough cardigans and to be honest, do a little. Okay, work with me here. So this is a men's dress shirt so let me just button front of it. I had pictured something when I saw this and how big it was. What I would do is get a belt and obviously I would wear leggings with this but at the for the most part you get the gist. It's like almost like a dress that I've sort of trans. This is just really quick guys so but ultimately like I would wear a I would wear leggings with this but it's actually pretty cute. Right? found this Old Navy shirt. I'm sh I'm sure I have more um, colorways of this, but yeah, it's just the Old Navy shirt and it's gray. And I can always use that to go to the gym or, you know, around the house. Alrighty guys, I am not sure what brand this is because the tag is taken out, but it's just a blue fleece type of jacket. I don't know if it's a jacket, but it's like a fleece. It's blue and has pockets on the side here, as you can see. And yeah, it's actually in really good condition and I feel like this is something my mom would wear so I bought this for my mom so yeah okay this top is from Old Navy it's just a regular t-shirt that's pink and white striped all the way around and again I can use this to wear around the house or actually this would actually be a good uh, shirt for hot yoga just because it's really free-flowing for me so this is a tunic dress top from Old Navy it is a lime green color it has buttons going almost to the middle of the front, has two side pockets, breast pockets I think is what they're gonna call it. But I just really like how it fits. It really fits very well. It has a little bit of a shape here. You can go ahead and fold the sleeves up to three fourths sleeves. And yeah, the color is a little bit out there, but honestly, you guys need a little color in your life, you know what I'm saying? I have here a beige cardigan. And as you can tell, it's like longer on the front than on the sides. And yeah, it's three fourths sleeves, a little bit shorter on the back end. So majority of the materials up front, but yes. Again, like I said, you can never have enough cardigans just because they make great for layering. You guys work with me here because I found this and I thought it was actually pretty cool. It's gray, it's a gray top and it has purple, dark purple and green accents on it. The top is very interesting. I was gonna cut it to make it a off the shoulder, but now that I put it on, I sort of like it. 
it, the neckline and everything and then it has pockets on the front so this is actually a really cute top i like it the colors are sort of like 80 ish with like the pops of color here and there but it's not too loud and i sort of like it okay next thing i have is a gap t-shirt um sort of a top it has button down a button going down the top portion and yeah i just really liked how uh, like what i wanted to go ahead and do is wear it with high-waisted jeans you know just because be a really cute top like it's very basic without doing too much you know what I'm saying and of course I found a hidden sweater it's just a gray sweater you guys already know what I'm planning to do with this I'm going to go ahead and make it into like a off the shoulder because I feel this neckline is just too much you know but for the most part I'll pretty much keep it I think I'm getting over my destroyed look type of obsession that I had but we'll see we'll see a white top here and it has collars on there and then it's like a crisscross I'm not quite sure what really what it is but it has a drawstring on the back to tighten it but the thing about this is like when I tighten it it has like these flaps here that make it look like I don't have a shape so I'm not sure what I want to do with this I sort of want to do a crop top type of thing but we'll see we'll see Bear with me here you guys it's a little tight up top i need to work on but anyways it's a tube top and it's from gap and i actually really like it i mean probably a little too tight up top but for the most part it's super duper cute i like it a lot it's like a red and white pattern striped yeah that's cute cute i have here a skirt from esprit es Esprit, but it is just a I don't know if this is a what would you call this it reminds me of almost like a picnic picnic um, table cover but it's super duper cute it actually opens up so this unbuttons and then it unbuttons on the inside so it lays flat but yeah I really like it a lot it's cute so I have here a jean skirt it's a little bit on the bigger side and I know you guys are like Camille jean skirt what the heck but it's actually not bad. What I wanted to go ahead, what I saw it with was with like boots. I don't have any boots here to show you guys, but like almost like knee high boots or something. So it shows a little bit of leg, you know, without showing too much. Um, but yeah, I think jean skirts are, I know some of you guys might be like, Camille, you're crazy. But to be honest, if you can work it, work it. I have here an olive green. I want to say this is like a cargo skirt. Skort. Um, yes, it's a skort. Um, it's a little bit on the bigger end, but I really liked it. And this is the type of skirt my mom wears, so I was going to give this to her as well. This skirt is actually really cute. I really like the color of it. And you guys, it has pockets, so that's even more of a plus. It is a red, white, black, and gray pattern. Super duper cute. I really like it a lot. It's not too short as well for it to be a Camille skirt probably take off this right here you know <laughs> righty here is another skirt so again it has pockets so it's a winner in my book it's a little bit on the longer side almost churchy type of thing but I really like it I like the color as well and then if you can see really up close the pattern is almost like a I'm not sure what pattern that would be not sure but yeah it's something different I don't have something of this texture in my collection so yeah Alrighty, I have here black capri pants and they're a little bit on the wider leg side. They don't have pockets, they have fake, no, they're real pockets on the back, a little bit on the loose side, but yeah. So my mom likes these type of pants with these type of material, so I decided to get that for her. Alright, these pants are by Morona and they are actually, they fit me actually quite nice. They're a little bit wider on the bottom. I'm tiptoeing right now. Yeah, they have pockets in the front. They're just black pants that would be good for work, dressing up for dinner or something. These next jeans are by Gloria Vanderbilt and they are almost like a khaki beige color. They're high-waisted and I really like them because what I wanted to go ahead and do is destroy them. So like cut out knees here and just because the way that it fits is like perfect. I just don't like the way what's going on here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's too plain for me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna refashion this for sure. But I just like, I really like the way it puts on me. So, alrighty. Next thing I have is Eddie Bauer. These are high waisted, aka mom jeans, and 
You guys already know what I'm planning to do with this. I'm gonna make these into high-waisted shorts. I'm super excited because it has the big pockets that work really well with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it right here. It'll work so good, I'm excited. So these capris are by Cherokee and they are a brown color. They are high-waisted as well. And yeah, they fit really well for Cherokee pants. I've never had owned a pair of Cherokees, so these are my first. So yeah. I have here some Christopher Blue. I want to say these are Bermuda shorts. They are almost like a weathered down olive green that I like. Bermuda shorts have never really been like something that I've liked just because I feel like with my calves being really big, Bermuda shorts aren't really like really flattering on me, but who knows? Maybe pair it with some heels or something. Who knows? Who knows? Alrighty, this is Gap and these are, I want to say these are wide-legged capri trousers. They aren't jeans. They're like that dressy type of material and they're super wide-legged with a little cuff on the edge there. And yeah, I think what I would pair this with is with some heels. These pants are Paris Blues. If you guys know Paris Blues, they were my thing back in middle school. The pockets are zippers and the material is almost like cargo type of material. It has some ruching along the outer edging and then it also has random pockets. Like I don't know what kind of pocket this would be for. And then it actually has a drawstring on the edge there, the very bottom. So again, I can go ahead and style this with some heels. Like put it up, wear some heels or just put wear heels with this. Yeah, super duper cute. I really like it. No pockets on the back. Okay, this is by Styling Co. and this is in their petite collection. And it is petite because as you can see, I don't need a tiptoe or anything for it to not like drag on the ground. Um, it's a little bit bigger up here, not quite sure why. It's a little really loose actually. Um, and it's just like a straight leg boot cut. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Probably gonna give these to my mom. I bought some Champion uh, sweatpants. I love sweatpants. They go great when for cold nights and whatnot. And I just really like how loose these were. Really comfortable for around the house, you know? Yeah, so yeah, from Champion. These capris are from Gloria Vanderbilt. They are like a khaki type of material. Actually, it fits me really well. Uh, it's a little bit on the shorter type of capri. Again, could wear it with heels or chucks or something. Alrighty, these are some black jeans by, again, Gloria Vanderbilt. I don't know, they don't say petite, but honestly, they fit me like a petite. So you can see they're not dragging on the ground. Um, it is high-waisted, which I really appreciate. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. It fits me really well, actually. I like it a lot. Last thing I wanted to show you guys is this jacket I got from my dad, which is Mark New York. It's a windbreaker and it has, it's just really like, it's so my dad. And it's really warm, not warm, but like it looks really good. It looks brand new. Yeah, I just really like that from my dad. So there you go. So my total ended up being $13.09. And that was for 35 items. So not bad, not bad. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, go and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos by me, click that red subscribe button. It would totally make my day, and I will see you guys later. Bye!